Hey guys, thank you for joining us again at Car System Installation. Hey guys, thank you for joining us again. So today we're going to show you how to install our Yazzie Pro camera interface module for an Audi Q5 2017. This module we're using in this case to allow us to have a backup camera to the factory screen, but it also has a separate video inputs so you can have for different options that if you want to use. Uh, the system has a control button that will allow you to change between the modes, but you can also connect it to the system the media button to allow you to control the modes. We have this connection is for the factory is for the screen to allow us to connect between the screen and our unit. It's kind of like a T harness. One side goes to the screen and the unit. One side goes to the, uh, the radio and the unit. So kind of like a T harness. Uh, we have this infrared which will uh, which we will need when we program the unit with the remote. We have this cable which is optional for uh, uh, aftermarket uh, GPS using the RGB input. Not needed in this installation. This one is available for touchscreen, again, not needed in this installation. And this one is a rear camera output. So if you're installing a backup camera, you don't need to find the reverse wire. This system, by connecting to the vehicle data communication, will have the reverse trigger and will output the reverse for your camera, 12, uh, 12 volt and the gram. So you don't really need to look for reverse when you're connecting the camera, just run the camera to the front, connect it to this unit directly. Then we have the unit main power harness that has the data communication it has a few analog options for rear for safe and also has the uh, accessory and ground so we're going to show you the locations that we are taking we show you in the previous video how we remove this whole thing we're going to put in the link uh, down below to show you uh, the video of how to remove everything in the dash here this is the ac control so this one is in the back of this ac unit and this is where we have the data communication. We have two wires in this vehicle. Each vehicle is different, depends on the vehicle that you're doing, so the data could be in different location. But this Q5, the location is here in the AC controls. We have the orange, green, and orange, brown. Those are data communication, can high, can low. And we also need for our system, we need accessory and ground. So we are going directly to the lighter to get the accessory and ground. We're gonna run those wires, connect them. I usually start first thing with the accessory and ground. Why am I doing that? So I can close the cigarette lighter and I can close this section back. That way I don't have to worry about scratching that and uh, doing any work. Make sure that you decide where you're gonna put your unit first so you know where you're running all your wires uh, towards. I'm putting the unit in this area, just below the radio. But again, everybody make a decision based on uh, your experience and where you wanna put the unit. So. I'm gonna start running the wire connections and after we do the wiring connections, we'll continue. Okay, so we showed you where are the wire location that we're supposed to have. We already done the connections, but we're gonna show you what we have done. So in this case, this is the connector behind the screen. So we have our, our connector. Now pay attention. The way that to know that you're in the right direction, there's a wire here that is marked ACC. Okay, so you can see the wire here marked ACC. Sorry. Okay, now this wire will go in front of the bottom piece. So the wire will be on the left bottom corner. So it will look like this. Okay, so we have the shape is L shaped this way. And we have the ACC on the bottom left. Now we're gonna tape it to make sure that it's not gonna get loose. Side. 
and the second cable that we connect that we have this is the side that goes into the screen now there's only one way you can put it so you're gonna see this is gonna be there's a two tabs in one side and one tab in the other way you won't be able to put it wrong so you don't have to worry about that we've routed those two wires to the bottom in here where we're gonna mount our unit so we have the bottom in here now those two connectors again uh, there's a different count of pins so you don't have to worry about putting that in the wrong location it's gonna be connected to the system via LVD in and LVD out so this is gonna be connected here for the power connection so like we said before in the video we took accessory from our lighter our data communication so this is we have the accessory our data communication we've taken from our AC control in here you're gonna see on the PDF the correct color to color so you don't have to worry about that and that's it the system is pretty much ready we already ran our cable for our camera so we have our camera connected to the rear input for the video and the power for the camera is connected to the plug that we showed you before this connector allow this connector provides a reverse and a ground from the unit so you don't have to find it in the car the unit will provide that connection okay so next thing we're gonna do we're gonna uh, assemble everything back in place we're gonna put the screen and we're just gonna test it and show you how it all looks when it's installed Okay, so now we have the unit completely installed. We have the power connections, sorry, the power connections, the AV connections, the screen in and out. The, and now I also connected our uh, uh, mode option and the infrared to allow me to do some changes. In this vehicle, the changes are fairly simple, but every time you do changes on the dip switch, you just unplug the uh, unplug the power first before you do any changes on the dip switch. So I'm gonna put the dip switch uh, We have those dip switches here. So number one is to allow us to have if we are doing uh, Navigation to this unit the Navi RGB that I mentioned before if we add in that So that will be dip switch number one dip switch number two three and four are for the rest of the AVs so if we add any AV inputs if we had any video inputs, we're going to use them to be able to see them on the screen. Now, to do any changes on the settings, you can do the changes while you, the car is in reverse. So, if you want to do it safely, just open one of the tip switches to allow you to enter the system mode and go into the menu and do some changes. So, I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. So, now we have the system connected. I'm going to press on the mode button. And it will take me to the first option. I'm going to take the remote. And the remote in front of my uh, infrared I'm gonna hold the button to the left and then we have a menu that opens in here uh, I'm gonna so the first option here is well second option here is the uh, park so pass type which means uh, if we want to have the lines that will be moving with the steering wheel so I'm gonna do either not used or pass off or pass on pass on means the lines will be moving with the steering wheel not used you're not going to have any lines at all or pass off you're going to have the lines but they're not going to be moving they're going to be steady and the next option we have is going to go to the pass setup so i can move the i can move it left and right to different positions how i want you can just test it when you have uh, the vehicle you can park in a certain place and decide how do you want to have it set up more further or uh, to the side or everything you want to do you can do all the changes here next thing we have is the real type so in this case we are using the can communication to get the real signal but if the vehicle is manual for example s4 s5 if the vehicles are manual you can change that one to a lamp then you connect your trigger to the wire here that will show real it's the gray wire that shows you real option so you connect the reverse from the vehicle to here that will trigger the system to go into reverse you're still gonna have the lines moving because that communication comes through the data so the real uh, the real type is only for depends on if you're using analog or 
the canvas for the rear. Safe enable, that one we don't need. Radar enable, so if the vehicle has factory radar sensors, you can put it uh, on, and that way when you have the sensors, uh, in the sensor showing in the corner of the vehicle, to show you the sensors at the same time. Now this vehicle does not have sensors, so it did not show on the screen at least, so there's no point of having that on. So we're gonna turn that feature off. Radar enable, we put it to off. Next thing we have is just uh, under the UTIL, UI, UTIL1, we just have the car model and Navi model. Again, we're not using Navi, so it doesn't matter. Car model or A4 old, new or A4 old. For this system, it's only those two options. Uh, there are different modules that have different options. Uh, that's pretty much all you need. And now we have the system uh, we show in Navi. So we're gonna unplug the power. I'm gonna turn off all the video inputs, all the options, and I'm gonna have the system you do only working for the backup camera. Start the vehicle. Now the camera is not installed yet. We're gonna run the camera, but we have using our handle style camera. So that's the Audi handle. And as you can see in the screen, we have the camera showing, and we have the indication with the lines moving left right show you which way your vehicle is going put the vehicle back to drive and the screen goes away and this is pretty much the full installation on the Yazi Pro Audi internal MMI module for more questions you can always find us at car system installation you can place an order for the unit uh, on the link below if you have anything you need to know let us know thank you very much and have a great day